Hey Fragheads and Fragrance Lovers, let's explore some more beautiful fragrances. Thank you so much for stopping by. Of course, my name is Benjamin here at the Centaur Fragrance Channel, so thank you so much for stopping by today. And today, it's going to be Halloween Man X. And I do have to say that this fragrance is quite a remarkable cheapie. I'm going to keep it really this re review really short and sweet overall, but if you want to know that this is worth the money, yes. If you want to know that this is a cheapie, you can get this for less than $25, sometimes close to $25, uh, $20, you know, a $20 bill in your pocket. This is it. And is it good for the fall? Yes. Is it mass appealing? Yes. If that's all you want to know, go out and go go for it. But if you want to know more about the notes, you're getting a beautiful roasted coffee. This is the best coffee for the money, guys. This is the most authentic uh, coffee. It's it's the richest. It's the most best roasted coffee for the money. Again, for about 20 bucks, you really can't beat it. And it is it is there. It is charged. It does in charge. It does have a presence. It's not overbearing or too bold. But perhaps if you are sensitive to coffee, perhaps it could be a little too much. But I have some sprayed on my arm here. Why not? Let's spray some more. And I do have to tell y'all that this fragrance really surprised me. Did y'all see that sprayer? This is a pretty solid sprayer too. So a really funny name to this fragrance, but it's gorgeous. What you're getting in the dry down is some jackfruit. Yes, the Halloween man jackfruit. It's a really uh, nice, sweet, um, interesting, tangy type of fruit. It, it has some darkness to it and a little bit of this interesting uh, uh, twang to it. It almost is like a fresher, lighter, um, almost like tonka bean. And there is tonka bean uh, in this fragrance. Some people might say that this is another youthful... Um, Another youthful tonka bean type of fragrance, but there's so much more in this fragrance. There is a leather, and the leather actually here is rugged, and it adds to that rugged quality of the roasted coffee in this fragrance. Really, really well done fragrance. A lot of personality, more personality than I would expect, but underneath this fragrance, there is a mass appealing, almost blue DNA. It doesn't exactly smell shampoo-like. It doesn't exactly go Dior Sauvage or Blue de Chanel or anything like that. It's not just because the the color of the bottle is blue. But uh, this fragrance really does have this mass appealing kind of DNA in the, in the background of this fragrance. But yet there's some interesting notes. There's some amber uh, supporting the fragrance and supposedly a little bit of incense. Uh, giving the fragrance a little bit more body and airiness and... Um, I do have to say that this fragrance is unusually good for the money. Again, if you're a guy, a guy who you know who's, who likes to say that you can smell like niche quality, uh, I wouldn't say that this this is really good quality for the money. But you know, niche as in um, the creativity and the originality and the uniqueness of the smell. This is certainly a fragrance that could be in any any fragrance lover's arsenal, anybody's collection, and uh, you would you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to smell unique and have a, a more creative fragrance. So it's mass appealing, but yet creative. It has it has some unique qualities about it, and it's it's a stunner, guys. And um, I'm really impressed with this fragrance for having a really good blend of the coffee and the again the the quality of the coffee note really surprised me. This is a surprisingly good fragrance for the money. I can't say enough good about it. How much performance do you get? This is not the strongest performing fragrance, but you're going to get seven hours if you spray a lot of it on. I know if you're an oversprayer, this might get you eight, nine hours, but I get about seven. It's not a bad performing fragrance. It's solid. It gives me about average uh, projection overall, maybe a little bit better sillage, but it's not a super strong performer. But again, roasted coffee is such a likable note. And the and the sweetness here is really uh, grabs attention. So it gets noticed a little bit more than you would think. But, you know, it's a solid fragrance. And for 20 bucks, you could afford to spray a lot of this on to get yourself a little bit better projection. It's, uh, you know, again, when you overspray, it doesn't give you much longevity it mostly just gives you a little bit better projection so um, you know going heavy on this one during the fall six seven eight sprays and you would be set uh, for the day so really nice fragrance anyways um, getting uh, to the compliment factor wise uh, side of this fragrance the compliments um, were decent with this fragrance they worked amazing but they, they, it was a kind of universal fragrance again with that sweetness really grabs people's attention and uh, really, you know, makes it likable to just about everybody. It has a little bit of that unique sweetness. And I think I forgot to mention the whiskey. There's some supposedly some whiskey booziness. Um, it does, it, you can notice it, but it's a little bit more in the background. The coffee, to me, really grabs the attention. It's really in the forefront of the fragrance. But uh, that, that booziness makes it playful. 
It makes it a little bit provocative and that sweetness. There's a lot to like going on in this fragrance. And um, I did get some uh, positive attention. It, it comes off as more of a playful or maybe even, uh, you know, kind of like a, a guy who's not trying to put on a show. But, yeah, he's, he's – so he, he plays it off cool, but he's really a fun guy underneath it. It kind of comes across kind of like a fragrance like that. So a guy who might wear darker colors, but, you know, he orders – when he goes to the restaurant, he orders a really, a really fun or maybe really weird dish. It's it's kind of like one of those guys, and um, that's how I think this fragrance comes across. Hopefully, that made sense to you. So overall, Halloween Man X for twenty bucks. If you like cheapies, if you came to my channel, if you say Ben, you don't showcase the cheapies enough. Ben, I don't have a lot of money, I, and I want to smell unique, and I want to smell good, and I, and uh, I, I want the quality, but and I I don't you know I don't want to sacrifice anything. You don't have to sacrifice anything with this fragrance. You don't have to give up the quality. You get pretty good longevity. You get good, pretty good quality. It smells a little bit unique. It's mass appealing. Uh, for the fall, and uh, especially if you're a younger man who ju or just want a playful fragrance, this one's hard to beat. With CH Men Privé and some of the other ones out there, this, this one's really hard to beat. And this is probably... I, I don't know of a better cheapie for your money. Honestly, for the fall weather, maybe getting even into the winter... I don't know a bit of a better cheapie, especially for a younger man or somebody who's building out a collection. Maybe a guy, somebody who wants something a little bit more interesting, but yet yet is not ready for you know the really weird. Uh, even designer flankers, or especially doesn't care for the niche at all. This is a great step out of what your comfort zone. If all you know is Dior Sauvages and Blue de Chanel's and uh, the really mass appealing fragrances, this would could be a really good departure and also would be a good gift. This would be a great gift for somebody in high school or somebody in you know in college so awesome fragrance not not bad at all it is a uh, nice size bottle i forgot to mention that a 4.2 ounce bottle it's not a three ounce bottle so you get a little bit more juice so price per mil compared to a three ounce bottle this is almost like a 15 it, you know if you were if they did sell three ounce bottles it would almost be a 15 dollar uh you know fragrance so really solid fragrance for the money guys a really great value bang for your buck it's got it all uh, if i create some hype i kind of intended to this one deserves a little bit not the easiest fragrance to get i will uh include where you can get it this is not a, a tj maxx fragrance this is not a ross fragrance this one isn't too easy to find but you, if you do know where to find it online this is a solid fragrance and there have been times where these have been completely sold out and uh for good reason there have been times where you can't get this when i first wanted this fragrance years ago there was a, ma a big big hype train and this was sold out for months and there was a reason just like 24 gold by scent story this one deserves the hype for the price and um i'm here to you know tell y'all about this one if you haven't heard about it yet so halloween man x solid fragrance guys i'll see you next time hope that you enjoyed my video today if it was worthwhile if it was helpful please like comment subscribe hit that notification bell share the video and tell a friend and uh, thank y'all so much for being here today thank you for the love thank you for the friendship and uh, of course thank you for being a fellow frag head we're fragrance uh, people we're awesome smelly people and i'll see you next time wear what you love rock what you got have a beautiful day and uh smell good if you don't have never smelled a coffee fragrance why not try this one? And I'll see you next time, everybody. Peace out and bye.